Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar has emphasized that the time is ripe for India and Singapore to advance their already strong bilateral relationship to the next level. This statement comes ahead of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Singapore, scheduled from 4th to 5th September, at the invitation of Singapore's Prime Minister Lawrence Wong. Mr Modi, who secured a record third term in office earlier this year, will be visiting Singapore after his stop in Brunei. The visit marks his first to the city-state since 2018 and follows his long-standing relationship with Mr Wong, who led the first India-Singapore Ministerial Roundtable in 2022 as Deputy Prime Minister. India and Singapore have shared a close relationship for decades, characterized by significant economic and defense cooperation. Singapore remains the top foreign investor in India, and the two nations have deepened their defense ties, particularly through the Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Exercises, which have been ongoing since 1994. In an exclusive interview with The Straits Times, Dr. Jai Shankar highlighted the significant transformations within India since the country's landmark economic reforms of 1991 and the signing of the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement with Singapore in 2005. He noted that these milestones have laid a robust foundation for deepening ties between the two countries. Just like Singapore had an opportunity in 1992, and then again in 2006, it should seize the moment and fully utilize the new landscape, Dr. Jai Shankar said. He underscored the importance of Singapore appreciating the rapid advancements in India, including its infrastructure development, digitalization efforts, and the unification of its market through the implementation of a uniform goods and services tax in 2017. Dr. Jai Shankar also addressed the perception that India's global focus might be shifting towards the Gulf, clarifying that India's ties with both regions have strengthened concurrently. I would not take an either-or or approach. Certainly, in the last decade, India's ties with Gulf nations have really taken off. But because of this, I would not draw any conclusions in regard to ASEAN. In fact, our ties have deepened as well in this very period, he explained. The minister emphasized the strategic importance of Singapore in India's Act East policy, which evolved from the earlier Look East policy. Singapore, which was at the core of our Look East policy, has an equally central role in the Act East policy as well, he stated. He also highlighted areas for future collaboration, saying, I would particularly single out those technologies promising for the future, such as semiconductors, green technologies, and electric mobility. We also need to collaboratively think about the future of connectivity and energy flows. Dr. Jai Shankar, who served as India's High Commissioner to Singapore before becoming the country's foreign minister in 2019, is widely regarded as a pivotal figure in enhancing India-Singapore relations. Reflecting on the broader global context, he said, in an era where we will witness deficits in regard to global commons, our relationship can make a bigger difference. As both nations explore further collaborations in technology, green energy and connectivity during Mr Modi's visit, the visit is anticipated to reinforce the long-standing partnership between India and Singapore. Discussions are likely to centre on modernising bilateral ties in line with current global dynamics and mutual interests, marking a new chapter in their relations. Dr. Jai Shankar also pointed out the relevance of India's economic and technological advancements in reshaping the bilateral relationship. Where Singapore's approach to India is concerned, it could start with the appreciation of the last decade of growth, recovery from COVID-19, and our rapid digitalization, while also taking into account the advances in infrastructure, the focus on manufacturing, and the availability of talent, he said. He concluded by expressing optimism about the future, noting, I would confidently predict a bright future.